before the choir comes, I just want to share something with you real quick, just to help kind of set the tone for uh, what we're going to be doing today. Um, the last few weeks in our morning service, we've talked about uh, the first century church, the early church. We talked about how it was a place for evangelism. Last week we talked about it's a place for Bible preaching and teaching. And certainly we must never, uh, uh, never uh, uh, de-emphasize the, the, the importance of biblical preaching and teaching in our churches. And yet we also find in that same passage of Scripture in Acts chapter 2, in verse number 46 and 47, it says this, And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God, and having favor with all the people, the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. One of the things that we know was a hallmark of the early church was they were a church that were known for their praise. And although there are some groups, some denominations, that have kind of hijacked that, uh, that uh, idea of praise and worship, we do understand that our God is pleased, our God is honored when we praise His name and worship Him in, in song. I want to remind you that in the book of Psalms, chapter, or, or Psalm 34, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt His name together. I like where it says, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. So much of the music of the day makes a boasting about oneself, or a boasting of one's abilities, talents, or maybe a, a, a particular person. But godly music makes our boast in the Lord. And that is truly the only thing that we, can, that we should boast about, is how good God is. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt His name together. Of course, we understand in Psalm 100, verse 1, it says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Enter, enter into His gates with thanksgiving, and into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him, and bless His name. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. This morning you may hear some faster, more joyful songs. You will also hear some slower, more serious songs. And I hope that what you'll do is you'll allow the music to minister to your heart today. More importantly, that, that eat the truth of every song will sink down into your heart and help you grow in your relationship with the Lord. The word music comes from the word muse, which means to ponder or to think. And I hope today, as you hear the music and as the Holy Ghost ministers to your heart this morning, that you'll think and that you'll ponder upon the truth of every song and that will encourage you in your faith. At this time, the choir is going to come.
Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war shall rise up against me, and this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that I will seek after, and that it may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to choir in His temple. For in my time of trouble He shall hide me in His pavilion, in the secret of His tabernacle shall He hide me. He shall set me upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his, this, his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Yeah. 
who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace are you saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Right. 
God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. In this was manifested the love of God towards us, because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through Him.
In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood, a ser stood the seraphims, each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing, and every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing, and honor, and glory, and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb for ever and ever.
heard many songs this morning. You've heard songs about the Father's love. You've heard songs about the cross of Christ. You've heard songs of consecration, asking the Lord to search me, O oh God, and see if there be any wicked way in me. You've heard songs about the grace that is ours. You've heard songs about the faithfulness of God. You've heard joyous songs about glory land. And you've heard songs that we do not need to be afraid, that we can find refuge in the rock of our salvation. I wonder if this morning, if one of those songs, if not every song, has ministered to your heart. Maybe you came to the service this morning, you were discouraged, you were downtrodden, you were depressed. Maybe you felt like things just weren't working out anymore. Maybe God had forgotten you. And maybe after the music this morning, as the ladies sang, you've determined to come home. I wonder if God has ministered to your heart through the music this morning. And if he has, I want to give you an opportunity to respond to him. I would ask you to have every head bowed and every eye closed for just a moment. You see, this morning many songs have been presented, but the truth of the music ought to stir our hearts. Maybe there's someone this morning that said, Pastor Miller, 